Hello. Who is ready for a very intimate presentation? Here we go. <laughs> All right, so hey, I'm Matt, and uh, I'm here to present the Fedora Miracle Spin that has just been approved for Fedora 41. Um, so let's just jump right into it. What are we going to look at today? Um, we're going to start with what is Miracle, and why should you care and be interested in it? Then what is Mir, which Miracle is based on, and why it's a great option if you yourself want to write a Wayland compositor or are working on a shell or something like that. And then we'll end with what will the Fedora Miracle spin actually look like and why that might be cool. Cool. So first of all, who am I? I'm Matt Kasarek. I live in Philadelphia with a clouder of cats. That's the proper term for three or more cats. Um, we have exactly three. Um, I work on Mir at Canonical, so I'm a little, a little biased towards Mir. So, you know, when I talk about Mir in loving and glowing terms, you know, just take that as the backdrop. And um, yeah, I'm a long time i3 user. I've always used tiling window managers and stuff like that. And in my spare time, I'm building Miracle WM. So this Miracle itself is not an official Canonical project. Um, it's just something I'm building on top of Mir, which is an official canonical project. Um, so, the high level kind of marketing pitch, if you will, for Miracle is that it's a flashy, easy to use Wayland tiling window manager based on Mir and written in modern C++. Um, if you've ever used Sway or i3 or Hyperland, if you're familiar with any of those other tiling window managers, it's a lot like that. Um, so instead of talking about it, I did have a video demo, but I'm actually booted into it right now. So, oh, that's much louder. Um, I will just use it. I believe I'm on this. Yeah, so right now, oh, cool, perfect. So right now I'm in Miracle. Um, it is. You know, we have the concept of workspaces and things like that. You can open up new terminals and it's all um, animated and stuff. The resizes are animated. The moving between windows is animated. You know, you have your typical tiling grid thingy going on. Um, you can move outside the tiling grid. It dynamically, you know, resizes and stuff like that. Um, if I can look at the pointer, you get float windows. So now this is a floating window that I could just drag around. You could put it back in the tree. Um, so it's a lot of things that you would expect from Sway or i3 and, and stuff like that. And what I'm really trying to do here is focus on ease of use, focus on making things, you know, cute animations that pop out for you. I want to work on context menus and stuff like that eventually. But, you know, I could full screen things and it's all working very nicely at the moment. Um, it's still sort of in a... I don't want to, oh, well, I will call it like a beta phase. As I work up to version 1.0, it's considered unfinished. So we're at 0.3 right now. Um, but I expect there's going to be at least like two or three more minor versions until 1.0 hits. Um, so yeah, let me go back to the presentation here. If it can focus, cool. So I don't have to show you the video because that's what the video contains. No, 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 I don't want, no, 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 Okay, so, so yeah, the real question is, how does it differ from things like um, Hyperland, River, SwayFX, right? These are all window managers that add these type of things already, and, you know, let's look at what Miracle's bringing new to the table. But first, what is it going to do that's just like the others? Um, so if you're familiar at all with Sway IPC, it's a way for, um, you know, you can programmatically modify your environment. You could say like, oh, focus this window. Oh, move this window here. And you could do that all in Python or Go or and whoever supports the API. Um, so I'm going to have full support for the existing Sway IPC. Um, as you saw, manual tiling window management, use keybinds, the tiles do, 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 move around. Um, floating window management, so that's like your traditional Windows experience. Um, we're going to have a configuration file, nothing too fancy. Um, and then cute things like rounded corners, borders, title bars, shadows, blur, other special effects, right? Like all these things you would expect out of like SwayFX and Hyperland. 
Um, we're going to be nice, hopefully. I'm going to try to keep the community nice. I'm going to try not to, you know, not to act, have to like moderate too many different channels or something. We'll t probably keep all of the discussion on di um, not Discord. I almost said Discord on GitHub is what I meant to say, and not on Discord. You know, we're not going to, you know, have to moderate big communities and stuff like that. Um, of course, support for a bunch of different Wayland protocols. Um, Mir, the Mir project itself is constantly building out support for other protocols. So I'll go over that later. And great documentation. I want it to be easy to use. I want the website for that documentation to be easy to use. But this is what everybody else has. So what are we going to do that's a little different? And I'm, the big emphasis of this project is on ease of use. I always say I want this to be something that you know my parents or someone could use. You know, they being non-technical people, they should be able to enjoy tiling window managers like the rest of us. That would be great. And up until now, I would say that's sort of not the case. Like people who aren't super into Linux might not even know tiling window managers exist and not even know this is another option to deal with your computer on a day-to-day -day basis. So I want to add stuff like tooltips, hints, context menus, right? So you don't have to remember keybinds for everything. Um, a settings application, something that's pretty easy to use, not just the YAML file. And we're going to kind of get there with the, um, the miracle spin, but you know, the option for a default environment based off all this, like a default shell that you don't have to build yourself in like a configuration file. Um, so that's the main thing. And then the second thing is it's built on top of Mir. So this is our guiding star. Miracle shouldn't be hard to configure even for non tech or use even for non-technical users. So that is my primary goal with all this. So then that brings us to the question, what is Mir? And I guess, why should you care about Mir? So Mir is a collection of modern C++ libraries developed and maintained by Canonical for writing Wayland compositors. If you're familiar at all with WL roots, it serves a very similar purpose to WL roots, um, except, you know, it's written in very modern C++ and it's our own implementation of the entire you know, Wayland server stack, basically. Um, so what do you get out of if you end up using Mirror to write your own shell or your own um, compositor? Bunch of Wayland protocols out of the box. We support, I mean, I could list all of them, but we support a lot of the WLR ones, a lot of the XDG ones, um, and we're always adding support for new stuff. Um, a lot of support for hybrid GPU situations. So if you have NVIDIA cards mixing with Intel cards, all going to different outputs of various refresh rates and sizes. It'll just work out of the box. You don't even have to think about it. Um, and that's something that tends to be missing from other implementations that we just give you. So that's pretty cool. Um, testing. We test a lot. We test in the lab on a lot of different hybrid GPUs. Um, you know, there's, there's always some computer running Mir out there that is making sure that it works and doesn't fall over. And, you know, it's just great to have that level of testing. Um, the C++ API is super easy to use and it's super modern. It's built on C++23, um, which is basically the latest and greatest stuff. And if you're familiar with C++, you're going to feel just at home. Um, it's highly configurable for your use case. So I'm going to, later on in the presentation, I list a number of projects that are already using Mir. And you'll see just, they're very diverse. And we have a dedicated team, myself included, who will work on Mir 24, or not 24 seven, eight hours a day each. But actually there's technically someone always online working on Mir because we're scattered all over the globe. So, you know, there's people to answer your questions on the matrix channel and stuff like that whenever you need us. Um, so yeah, just to show you how easy Mir is to use, here's a little hello world for Mir. If you build this code, obviously you need like a CMake file and a make file and stuff. You'll have a floating window manager that you could just open up windows, drag them around, minimize them, maximize them. And from there, you could just go crazy, do whatever you want. You could build a whole tiling window manager. You could build a shell on top of something like this. And you could really just make it your own. So yeah, this is a good time to talk about the projects using Mir. Um, so the first, sort of our, our flagship 
mirror client, although this is internal to, um, or sorry, this is being developed by Canonical, is Ubuntu Frame. So Ubuntu Frame is for IoT devices like kiosks. It displays a single application in full screen mode um, that you really can't break out of. That's the whole point of it. So if you go to like, obviously this isn't one of our customers, but if you go to McDonald's and you order on that screen, they're using something like Ubuntu Frame. Um, that's pretty much it. It's, nowadays it's able to support multi, multiple applications running at once, but it's pretty simple. It's the almost dead simplest way link compositor, show me one surface and don't let anybody exit out of it. Um, the next is MiriWay. So MiriWay is meant to be serve as a starting point for you to build your shell on top of. Um, so what you would do is you would take MiriWay, which is a floating window manager at its core. Um, typical floating window manager, it looks like Windows or, you know, stop GNOME, or sorry, you know, the stock GNOME experience where you drag around Windows and stuff, and you add all the shell elements on top of it. Um, it's really a great starting point. It gives you a lot of configuration options. It integrates stuff like, um, you know, your lock screen and stuff out of the box, um, privileged clients who can only talk to certain Wayland protocols and stuff like that. So it's really a great starting point. If you're just looking to build some default shell like in uh, Lexqt or uh, Amate, that is where you would begin looking into this. And the next is Lomiri. So I don't know if how many of you remember the um, Ubuntu Touch phone from way back in the day. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is the compositor for Ubuntu Touch. Um, it's still being used today. It, um, you could go look up the Ubuntu Touch project and you could see how they're using Mir. They're using a, an older version of Mir and they're currently working on migrating to the latest and greatest, like 2.18, whatever we're at now, because I think they're at the 1, 0, 1 point something version. Um, but they're using Mir every day. They like it. They're happy. <laughs> so, you know, it's a very cool project. And then last is Miracle, obviously, which I've been talking about. So what's next for Mir? Um, we want to support more and more Wayland protocols. That is a big goal of ours right now. So WV Viewporter is in, it might be done. I think that one's merged um, and tested and everything. And actually, what, sorry, what I don't mention here actually is we have another project called WLCS, which is the Wayland Confor Conformance Test Suite. It stands for something like that. And what we do whenever we make one of these new protocols is we actually implement a bunch of tests that any compositor can hook into. So let's say you wanted to test WL roots, a WL roots based compositor against WLCS, you could do that. You could do something like that, which is pretty neat. Um, so when we create a W or when we implement the WP viewporter, we also implemented tests on that saying, this is how this should behave and it's verifiable. Um, it's no longer just a spec, it's actually a full suite of tests that confirm that it exists. Um, we're working on WP fractional scaling, um, XCG decoration on stable, V1 just got in, so you could have server-side and client-side decorations. And we're always working on more. Um, we'll eventually do things like explicit sync and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it's just a prior prioritization thing. Um, how many of you are familiar with portals? Okay, so in a nutshell, what portals allow you to do is um, they allow sandbox applications to access the system in some way. So as an example, we, have, we want to start supporting the global keybind portal, which want, says basically, I'm some random application, but whenever you click control S, send that to me and nobody else. Um, so this is important when you think about it for like applications like video recording software, you might want to keybind to start and stop video recording and other things similar like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for keybind or for, sorry for portals. We're going to eventually support all the cool portals that are out there. There's a lot of them. Um, you know, that's actually how, um, how screencasting is done currently. So if you want to screen record and stuff like that, you use a portal typically. Um, although there's some hacks around it that WLR compositors do. Um, 
And yeah, we want to make the desktop experience a lot better. Um, really a big focus is on the floating window management aspects right now, kind of like alt tabbing and alt ticking and all those things that you would expect to have out of the box. We're just going to start implementing and making it a lot better. All right, and now we'll talk about the Fedora Miracle Spin, which is just one slide, and we're using NWG Shell, if anybody's familiar at all with that project. Um, it is basically a shell that is built for Sway and Hyperland, and we're just going to integrate Miracle into it and ship it as part of the um, Fedora Spin. So it looks exactly like this. It's slightly like Unity 8 type of look and feel to it, um, you know, you have your dock on the right, you got your panel on the top, bunch of drop downs, all this stuff is working on GTK layer shell and everything. Um, and it is GTK based and written mostly in Go and Python, I believe. Um, so we're going to use this just to power the entire spin. It's going to look nice and sleek and modern. Um, there will hopefully be very little configuration that you would have to do out of the box if you just wanted to enjoy the experience, but of course, the world is your oyster and you can do whatever you like. Um, and yeah, here's a bunch of links. If you want to build a Wayland Compositor or Shell using Mirror, check out that stuff. Um, maybe I should share this somewhere. So yeah. Well, anyway, if, you, if you're interested at all, um, we have a matrix channel for Mirror. If you start building a Wayland Compositor or Shell and you want to ask us questions, we're super responsive. If you open up bug reports, We'll fix them as soon as possible. Um, and we're generally a pretty friendly bunch, so feel free to hop on. Um, if you're interested in contributing to Miracle, that's the repo at my username, MiracleWM. Um, the Fedora Spin, it's right now in a wiki change, so it's in progress right now, so we're just building it out. And last but not least, NWG Shell is um, hosted by that person on GitHub, and he does a lot of great work. Oh, and if you want to install Miracle, you could sudo dnf install Miracle WM, or you could install the snap, and it's a classic snap. And you could then select it from your home screen when you log in. You know, you click the little gear icon and go, boop, I want to log into Miracle. Although I will warn you, if you don't configure it beforehand, it'll just pop up a black screen, and then you obviously have to configure things right now. So you could go check out the, um, the wiki page once you install it and start configuring. Cool. And I think that's it. That's all I have. Yeah. So we don't have to repeat the question. True. So, so, so the question is, uh, what's the story behind bringing Miracle to Fedora to make it a Fedora spin? Okay, good question. Um, so obviously, I just began working on Miracle in my spare time. I, you know, I just thought it was a fun thing to do. And Neil actually is super into the project, Neil Gumpa. Um, he's super into Mir generally. He really likes you know, he really believes in me and really likes it. So he actually had approached me. He was like, hey, we should make this an official spin. This would be really fun for us to do together. Um, so he's actually helping me out with like a lot of the fedora specific stuff that we have to do all the time. Um, I thought it was a really great idea just to throw that whole thing together and see how the experience works. Um, I think it's a solid alternative for anybody who wants to, you know, try out new tiling window managers and is interested in it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Neil and I thought it would be really fun is sort of the, <laughs> sort of the reason behind it. <laughs> I go for it. Hey, thanks for the presentation. Yeah. Um, so I see the motivation for Mir is mostly the ease of use uh, for the window manager. Um, how much of it has been thought through from the accessibility perspective? Ooh. You like read my mind. I was going to bed last night and I was thinking, wow, I haven't really thought that deeply about this question yet. Um, 
And that is the, actually the answer. I haven't thought that deeply about this question yet. Um, I would love to work with someone who's maybe like um, visually impaired in some way and actually see, at, first of all, what options they have in terms of tiling window management out there and how those tiling window managers have or have not addressed their needs. Because that's my big thing right now. I don't know if other tiling window managers actually serve an accessibility audience yet. Um, or even have put much thought into accessibility. They may have, if anybody knows. I just, I just honestly don't know where Sway and I3 and Hyperland land in those in that department. But if you know anything about it, I'd love to talk to people um, about actually getting that in. Well, I'll, I, mean, I, I don't know about that, but the, um, <laughs> the accessibility working group, we have a, a, a chat room in Matrix Oh. Um, so we are, there's like, there's broader things that we're trying to organize, but uh, thankfully there are some people who, who are blind or visually impaired who are in that matrix room. Okay. They've been very helpful for just identifying different things. The story for another time where it's kind of a mess in there, but there are people in there. So if you wanted to ask questions or see like, okay. hey, here's my thing. Like, can you take a look and, and, and see if, um, you know, what feedback you have, that may be a good starting point. Okay, yeah, no, thanks. I will definitely check that out because that is a big community I want to address with this too. Mm. So I, I, I didn't understand the, how the um, spin, because you, you, we have Mir, we have Miracle uh, WM, yeah. and we also have this other thing that you mentioned with Python. Uh, what is the relation between Okay. All right. I called WM and the other thing. Yeah, I probably could have used a uh, like a diagram there. So, Mir is a library for writing C plus plus compiler or sorry compilers C plus plus Wayland compositors um, or compositors Wayland compositors in C plus um, plus. Mir Cole is using those Mir libraries to build a Wayland compositor, and NWG shell is going to be the actual shell elements that you see on screen working inside of Miracle. So that'll be like the top bar, the, the left bar, if I go do do. Yeah, so all of that, even the background and everything will be hosted within Miracle WM. You, you could in principle use Miracle WM with a different shell? Yeah, exactly. Um, so for example, right now I have, I have like kind of a minimal shell going on here. Oops, it broke. I have a minimal shell going on here, but you can see I just have like a background and a top bar. So you could install anything. This right here is called Sway BG and that up there is called Way Bar and you could mix and match however you want. Now we can't integrate things like GNOME Shell and KDE obviously because they're super integrated with the compositor itself. But with Miracle you can mix and match any elements you want, but we're gonna offer up one dedicated experience that we know works well. I see, okay, thank you. Cool. I, I was in the no mindset that it's just one thing that does everything. Oh yeah, no, it's, we separate the visual from the logic, I guess you could call it, yeah. Cool. Um, so uh, maybe, uh, going back to Mir, uh, Mir used to be a separate protocol, right? In the back in 2013. Yep. Uh, is, does any of this remain? What's the? No, no. No, the, the short answer is no. It's been entirely refactored to be Wayland only. Yeah. So it says 25, so I think that's yeah. good timing for us. Uh, All right. Thanks thank very you. much for coming. Oh, that didn't even break.